Now, I, I wanted to talk about what you said, Dr. Michelle, like you said, women are nurturers. And you said that they, you know, want to fix the person and people have been together for 50 years, 30 years because they see potential. Why is that not happening now? Like in today's society, like it's people don't they don't want to be together like that no more. It's like two years. It's like they done. <laughs> They see potential in somebody else. <laughs> no, we we live in a world where people are are like like needing like we're really we're really think of social media. You you get information right away. We're so stimulated, right? We're used to like I don't know about you. Like I'm 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 talking to you. My phone is off. Like I have my phone right here by me, and but I'm aware. That although like I'm not texting anybody, but I'm aware that these messages are coming through. So we live in a world where we're constantly attempting to divide our attention. We're so we're so aware of, well, there's more for me out there. Um, there was a time when people were at home and, you know, they pretty much had you know, they had to go out to meet people, right? If they were tired of their spouse, they had to go out to meet people. You don't have to go out to meet people anymore. So your options are so wide open. And, you know, the, the level of commitment, I think people are doing things more now for show. Um, so it's not lasting unless you need it to last so you can show that it lasts for a long time. So it's, I, I think it comes down to our focus and commitment now and things have changed i mean and again you know and i'm, I'm gonna say it's not social media's fault so to speak but we social media does give us that opportunity to interact with so many more people i mean you could be you know in michigan all of us are probably in different places now but you can be like you know here in michigan and somebody in china you can be communicating with and talking about how miserable you are at home and, oh, I'll get you a ticket to come and visit me, you know, and people become more open to things that maybe they weren't open to before because that would be unheard of. First of all, you weren't just randomly talking to strangers, but now we have this world where we don't feel like people are strangers. We become comfortable. Our guards are down and priorities are just so different now than what they were. I mean, it's okay, you can have 10 kids and still be doing whatever it is you want to do because you have this opportunity to still be an Instagram star or whatever it is, which is great in a sense, because I don't like the idea of feeling like, oh, now I'm married or now I have kids, my life is over. I don't, you know, I don't condone that either, but it just gives you this opportunity to do what maybe you know, grandparents and great grandparents were not doing before because they didn't have the opportunity to do it. You you couldn't have all of these, I guess, what people have called emotional affairs and all of these different things happening. I think the work wife term has been around for decades, you know, but some of these other things, we're, we're, we're way beyond work husbands and work wives. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, gonna say I, I the doctor said like the very like you know professional educated. I feel like social media made a difference because of the fact that like they can't people can't get away with stuff as easily as they did. It doesn't mean that those 50, 40 year old, 60 year old marriages did not have some of the same elements <laughs> going on within their relationships. It's just that it was easier to get away with certain stuff because you know they you didn't have to worry about you know whatever side piece you had on the other side of the town, no you know, DMs. <laughs> DMing your wife and telling her like, hey, you know, your man was just over here last night or posting <laughs> videos of you in the bed. Like, you know, I think that it, it is a certain degree of privacy being taken away and that kind of taking the veil off of some of these, like you said, potential relationships, these long relationships that have been going on for years. And then also, I feel like people need to be willing to do the work. Like you said, it's an instant gratification kind of world that we live in. We want it now. We want it to be like, bam, wham. I be somebody, bam, we getting married. We, we, we're having all the kids. We in the matching PJs by December and I'm good to go. Like, no, like it's going to take work. And, in, and unless you in it with someone who is intentional and also willing to do that work with you, then it's not going to be sustainable because I think sometimes too, we have this idea about relationships. We have this idea from the internet, from all the social media, yeah. like 
you know, we just had holiday season, all the matching PJs. And the, <laughs> we have this idea of what, what a relationship should be. And a lot of that ideal doesn't boil down to the actual work it takes to have a healthy and sustainable relationship. So I think the biggest thing is like for people to understand that it's not going to be all matching PJs and, you know, cute uh, gender reveal videos and TikToks <laughs> is actually going to be a lot of work that you have to do in order to merge yourself with another person um, and figure out how your lives can mesh. And I think people don't do that work. And about the kids thing, okay, I'm not like a big like, oh, you know, I don't think that your life should be over when you have kids either. But I do believe that in our society now, it's not very like people are so like they're ready, ready to have children before they're ready to like be married or actually commit to a person. So it makes it difficult to for something that's long and sustainable. If we're having like a lot of mixed families that has a, a whole mix of issues that come into it. So I think it's just like the society that we live in now, you have to be willing to one, do the work and two, like meet somebody and engage with people who are also willing and aware that it takes work to be in love. It's not something that's like, Disney Channel princess. <laughs> and, that's another, and that's another whole topic, which you just pointed out about the kids and, you know, wanting the kids. Even, because sometimes people do want kids without even having a partner. They just have that strong desire to have a kid and they want that um, desire met. But yeah, we do have, you know, we have all the Christmas matching PJs and some of those people by Valentine's Day and you know these other you know these other um, holidays they're no longer together there's no matching anything so you know because you know somebody else came along that they're matching with and you know it just it, it happens but I do think it comes down to a sense of commitment but I think before we get into anything I, I just always encourage people just gain some self-awareness some insight you know, we spend a lot of time thinking about the perfect, the perfect mate, the ideal person for us. But who are you? You know, do you know who you are? And let that be your focus, you know, not just a New Year's resolution or anything, but let that be your focus for today and every day. You know, check in with yourself. It's not just about another people, another person defining you. Check in with yourself. 